Let's make free levels of future bounce so you can know if your music is kind of kind of trash and if you're a flipping genius. And by the way, every preset in this entire video is from a new CM sound bank. So if you need some flipping sick basses, leads and chords or whatever sounds, then check it out. Link in the description. But anyway, let's start with the noob. The noob drums are obviously going to be made with some high quality stock samples. The noobs also struggle to find a good rhythm with the lead and bass, so it will sound kind of boring like this. Build up drum. And the vocals before the drop are hella catchy. What time is it? Let's check out the pro track. One big difference from noob to pro is the melody. The noob usually can't really get that bouncy offbeat melody right, so here's the comparison. The pro is also using a lot of automations. For example, this reverb automation looks advanced, but all it really does is making sure the reverb is only active when the lead is not playing. And here are the lead chords and bass together. And to get that thick sound, we need some lay lay lay. And here's one extra like nasty layer to fill up some extra space. Build up drum. I also added this little extra lead to spice it up at the end of the drop. Drum. I also decided to add a new lead in the build-up to give the track some contrast. And for the Brooks level, we're going to have to step it up a notch because this guy is flipping nuts, man. So we'll just remake his song Boomerang. Let's start with the lead and bass. If you want to layer like Brooks, make sure you add like 10 times more layers than I do. And the reason I'm not doing it is because I don't want my computer to die. I noticed he had it like a reverse lead with it like a super fast whoop whoop kind of thing. So I decided to reverse the lead myself and add his wave automation and I got kind of the same thing. He also made a really cool pitch band which I made with this Graylon uh, plugin. It's free by the way, get it? It's nice. Woo. As you can see here, I'm also pitching up one octave on some notes because uh, I saw Brooks did that as well. 
And we also had reverb automations, just like I made with the Pro Track. Drums are nothing special, really, just a kick and clap and the stuff like that. You know, you know the deal. And that's uh, Boomerang. Let's check it out. <laughs> 